Right, event one, the log press. Now we've got a couple of special competitors today, especially Aaron Page and Graham Hicks. Aaron with the British record at 216 kilos and Graham looking super, super strong in training. We're making a lot of noise, reckons he's gonna get the world record. So, world record as now is 228. I believe if they go for it today, it's gonna be 230 kilos done on a wooden log, which is hot. I mean, with, with the max log, there's a lot of the guys around the 190, 200 mark. So there's a, there's a big fight there to get in the points for the actual show. Um, but to be honest with you, Hicks is the favourite to break the world record um, in Europe at the minute. You've got Max Log coming up, which is a personal favourite of mine as it is anyway. But my money on world record being broken is probably going to be Graham Hicks. He's looking phenomenal in training at the moment. Um, he's always solid, so again, my opinion, he's going to break the world record if anyone's going to do it. I think the front runners for the log would probably be Aaron Page and Graham Hicks. Um, I'd love to see Hicksy break the world record. I know he's been close a few times and I think he's got it in him. Aaron, I mean, he's, he's still got a chance, but I see that I would just give the edge to Hicksy on the on the, who's the favourite on that. I was speaking of Eddie Hall not long ago and he uh, he was very excited about the prospect of Luke and mentioned the fact that at the same age Luke is lifting heavier than he did. What does that tell you? Come on, a guy that's been bred within Giants Live also, worked very closely with Darren Sadler. He used to be one of the guys moving the equipment around, setting up the shows at Giants Live. Now Luke He's doing it in the spotlight, and he looks really comfortable. That's a great start, rock strong, Luke Richardson. Would you expect anything else? Slightly different technique, almost went for that split technique there on the press. Great lift from Irvin. Really solid, really smooth. Looks like he belongs there. No nerves. Nice. No issues whatsoever. And I'm sure our last lifter, Graham Hicks, will be thinking the exact same thing. Easy lift for the rage. Aaron flung that up. Very, very easy start. Arena show that we did manage to get off. Where Adam was victorious. Britain's strongest man. Bishop. Great lift. Goods. Me. How will he get things underway today? Hicks. And that is answered. Flung that up there like it was tissue paper. Unbelievable. Taking his time. Gets the breath. Good on the clean. There's the press. And this time, he made those corrections. Very professional approach to that from Alex. Oh, that's a great lift. Tremendous from Jack, really solid. Gavin, long way to move that way. Battling it now, yes, good recovery. Gets the down signal. Toughed it out there. Great lift, bully that one through the clean. The press was there, no problems at all. <laughs> Gavin yeah, Bilton um, will go Cobham. next, ladies and gentlemen. Gavin Alexi Bilton or something got it last year at World Juniors. Mm. Yeah. We'd have to go to 192 and a half for you to break it. 
Yeah. Tell you what, mate, you're on form. Holy man. Genre, eh? That's the goal. <laughs> 180 kilograms, urban tubes. Absolutely battered it up. And there's another one. He's still in cruise control. Unbelievable. Oh gosh, on fire here. Started with his specialist subject and he looks like it. Oh, battled that one, unlucky. That first lift really battled it. He's just checking in with Dave if he can get another crack at it. Take your time there, Gavin. Sucking the breaths in there. Getting himself prepped and ready. So close on that attempt. Pat O'Dwyer, Ireland's all next to lift. A purposeful, aggressive walk up means this one. Would love to get this one. 180 for the Irishman. Come on, Ireland. Would be get him really solid points and he's attacked that. Just taking his time. Just a core. That's better, and that's a great recovery. Yes. A test early for Paul O'Dwyer, and it's a test that he passed. O'Dwyer gets the 180, really solid, great recovery. Paul O'Dwyer there, as Luke Richardson steps up to lift next. Richardson, so much hype behind this young man, so much pressure on those significant shoulders, and he's going to put those shoulders to work right now. It's the Max Long, it's Luke Richardson, 180 kilograms. Here we go. Set himself up. Wants to make sure that he gets it clean this time. Just get those legs in place. Fought it there. Just to just settle. We've seen him here before. He's been here in the last round that he corrected and put it right. Can he do it again? Take your time, Richardson. Come on, Luke. Skip down there, not today for Luke, but he can't possibly lose at that age. All valuable experience for Luke Richardson, and he'll take that one on the chin, move forward. A lot of good events coming. Just couldn't settle it on that one. But it is what it is, isn't it? I've got good events coming up, so it's too bad. Because it's almost just like, like I, I shuffled on the first one, it didn't make a difference, so I just thought, fuck it, I went for it. So. But, um, <laughs> like, uh, I mean, obviously, I think what I've been doing in training, I probably should have got that, but I didn't. There's no point dwelling on it. I've got good all the other eight events at the show are good for me, so. Just make it up there. Aaron looked very much in his groove, as you'd expect, from a log lifter of his calibre. This is somewhere that he feels really comfortable. Oh, absolutely bullied the log there. He tried to get out of shape and he did not permit it. Adam Bishop. Getting himself into that place. Would love to get this great points potential here for Bishop if he can get past this 180. Battled it there. Was very clearly very conscious about coming off the front of the lifting platform and I genuinely looked down at that one. Come on, and Bish. If anything, that really prevented him from completing the lift. Bishop was really conscious of that. And you do feel like he can correct this. Adam Bishop. 180 kilos on the log. Came closer than it probably felt. Here 
really aggressive hit. Not going to take it any further than that. You cannot knock the effort from Bishop there. Britain's strongest man really attacking that one early. Oh, my Hi. word. Graham Hicks is in the house. What about that? Came in there and absolutely annihilated the 180. Call to Jack to get himself ready. Hungarian Jack Forgash, next lifter. And I'll tell you what it is. This guy has not looked like he's slowing down at all at this stage of the competition. It's looked easy. It's got that air of a great log presser about him. The same that we've seen from Eddie Hall in the past, from Graham Hicks. Just somebody who looks so comfortable. Page showed it today. Just a different league of comfort in this particular event. And Orgash certainly has that in bucket loads. He comes to the stage with a gang of confidence. And why wouldn't you have only a young man to 190? Looks like he was handed down to do this. I'm trying to do it. Here we go. Jack Forgash. One hundred and ninety kilograms. One nine two. Come on. Little balance issue there. Put that out of your mind, Jack. Nice and easy. Time, 192 kilograms. Come on, Jack. Come on. Big breath. Yes. So close from Borgas. Take your time. Have a rest. Take your breath, mate. Take a minute, Jack. Come on. Yes. So close from Borgas. Take your time. Have a rest. Take a breath, mate. Take a minute, Jack. And he's shown that grit, that experience, that determination. It's the fight in the dog, and he's shown. But he certainly brought that element today. Happy with that. Keeping some in the tank leaves us with the rage. Aaron Page and Graham Hicks still in the fray. So yeah, I think he'll do well, uh, Aaron Page, definitely. Somewhere around the 210 log at this show, uh, which is very good. Enough to get him probably second place. Um, and he's got some good events here. He's not a bad deadlifter. Um, I think he'll do okay. And he's a lot more mobile than he used to be. One of the problems was I always saw his, 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 his uh, moving stuff wasn't good enough. But I think he's, he's actually upped his game. Um, he's probably a bit fitter than he was. Uh, my dog training's been pretty spot on um, through lockdown and bits and bobs. I was just shy of missing a 220 off a peak, but that was more technical issues. And um, again, I feel for this competition, 220 is going to be my goal. And this is definitely not virgin territory for Aaron. He's been here before. Massive presser. And he's looked like he uh, he came ready today. Solid to this stage. Unbelievably close. Literally five seconds of fight in a 200 kilogram log. Can he make it count here? Into that thin air at 200 kilograms. Aaron, just missing out of 200 kilo there, buddy. What, what, what happened, mate? You've got the British record at 216 kilo. Well, the 170 was a bit of a fight for me. Shoulder went, did something we need, like this. AEI to just muscle through. 200, I lost it in front of me, which caused me to have that, I don't know, it felt like forever. <laughs> yeah. Probably was only about two seconds, but uh, yeah, I had nothing left after that. Try cleaning it again, all I could feel was my knee shoulder screaming at me, so. That's not good. Uh, 
Oh, Training wise, what, what we've been doing PB wise, what were you expecting well, today? I wanted, I was aiming for 220 was going to be my target today. I've done 220, what, uh, sorry, 210 three weeks ago, four months, I believe. So in theory, prep should have been there. Today it wasn't. Okay, so we're still good points and we've got another eight events to go. <laughs> still feeling good? Well, when you say that, it sounds horrible, doesn't it? Good. <laughs> now I'm looking forward to it, obviously, with a different setup, so it'll be fun to see where it goes. Good, good man. Good, good. I mean, Hixie, Hixie's pressing style is more, I mean, he's just strong, you know, he's, uh, he's not so technical, although he is obviously still technical, he still practices it and still works on it, um, he, but he's just very strong, he's got that real brute power, whereas Aaron is a lot more technical and a lot more explosive, he relies a lot on explosive power and he's, um, yeah, and he's very, he gets under the bar, the log very quickly and, um, he's, yeah, he's very explosive, so... They're very different styles, but obviously the outcome is is very similar, I think. But just personally, I would just just give the edge to Hixie on that one. I mean, I've, I've had a few sessions with Hixie. Uh, you almost just get used to the fact that this guy's chucking around 200 kilo plus every week like it's nothing. So I think Hixie's the man to do it uh, out of the guys that are coming. Uh, I think Hixie's the man to do it anyway. Uh, I think that he is capable of 230. And at this point in time, it doesn't look like he's got out of first gear. I've got to be Come honest, plenty left. You would have to bet on him being able to do this. If he can keep that calm demeanor he's shown all day. No. And there it is, 200 kilo, gets the down signal, gets the win. Hicks in the max log. Second highest weight ever is going to be targeted by Graham Hicks. I believe he's going to. I'll just make sure I'm not talking rubbish here. I think he's called 220. Our next lifter will be Graham Hicks, ladies and gents. How special would this be? 220 kilograms. Here we go. Graham Hicks of the United Kingdom. Rock solid, powerful, 220 kilograms. Driving that back overhead. So very, very close. That is an obnoxious weight. It'd be great to see him get that today. Massive lift, 220 kilograms. What a special way to start proceedings that will be here at Allerton Castle. If Graham Hicks can nail it, we know that he's been successful at that weight. In private confines, in his own environment, but it's different doing it in a competition. He'd love to get that here today. Yes, Graham Hicks! There it is! 220 kilograms! It's in the books, and I'll tell you what, he made that look very comfortable indeed. What a tremendous lift with Graham Hicks. He did an enormous lift, the heaviest weight ever on a wooden log. Tremendous kilograms. We are talking in excess of, uh, what was that, 507, 508 pounds in weight. A, a very significant way past the old world record on a wooden log outdoors. Ladies and gentlemen, special day here. What a way to conclude this first event it would be. The max log, 220 has already fallen. 230 is now on the bar. Incredible weight for an incredible log lifter. And this would be something special. We, we know that Eddie has often spoken about how much it meant to get the world records in comparison with world, world's strongest man and it's something that's actually oh, made the 220 right, look come very, on, very easy indeed. Get up! Come on! Up! Get a hit! Here we go, Graham Hicks. 230 kilogram on, attempt. Come on! Here at Allerton Castle. Would love to get this, Graham certainly has that capability just ask him for the bar to be moved repositioned ever so slightly trying to make sure that he's taken account for various eventualities oh, come on come on, on graham let's get it down mate. to fine margins at this level 230 come on, come on. Kilograms. attack that claim graham hicks let's, let's get it mate up. let's get it hard. Come, on. come on come on 
Come on! Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Not today, ladies and gents, not today. As soon as that is over, folks, we'll do a, an interview or two. But while that's going on, please, everyone, we're going to try and decamp down to the Hercules Hold area. And we'll be battering that out as quickly as possible. And then it's lunch. Push 220, the 230's there. So when are we going to come back and get it done? That's the question, really. When we have an arena show, I'm sure it'll go on. There we go. Good to you. Good job, man. Well done. Cheers. Nice that. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a swimming pool. Has it? Yeah. Actual swimming pool.